Hi, welcome back. My name is Kara Michelle and I am here to help you live your truth. So on today's video, I want to carry over from a theme that has been coming up the last few videos. And today is specifically going to be about the negative habit of complaining and why it's so, so, so important that you learn how to stop stop that habit right away and I'm going to share with you an amazing tool to do so. So when it comes to complaining, it is just a waste of energy, a waste of time, a waste of thought, space, and mental capacity, and it's really just low vibe bringing you down. So the thing is, is most of us, that's pretty natural for us, and we've spent a long time, maybe even a lifetime, complaining and seeing the negative around us. And to be honest, that is a little bit of the natural way that most people's brain works is that it's picking up on the negatives, the things that aren't good enough, the things that um, we're judging and think should be better or different, and it's really focused on that. So one of the big things I always talk about with clients is about reprogramming your mind and learning how to break out of that because the habits you have right now probably are not serving you and serving your growth or your potential. So it's really, really important to break out of those and learn how to shift those and shift the way you think into a more positive way. So when it comes to complaining specifically, um, like I said, it's just bringing you down. And nobody wants to be in a room with the person who has nothing good to say. It's <laughs> it's like that um, Saturday Night Live skit with like the Debbie Downer who's just like wah, 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 and like one bad thing after another no matter what you say to them, they have something negative to say back or they're complaining or this is wrong or that's not good enough. And it's exhausting to even be around them. And for me personally, I cut out some relationships with people because that's that's what they did. And I found it so incredibly exhausting. Like how can you try to be positive or hopeful or happy when you're around that all the time? So if you're watching this, and you are that person, this isn't to judge you, this isn't to make you feel bad about yourself, this is to help you become educated and become aware of how your thoughts are and how limiting and negative they can be. Because again, like I said, a lot of times we're not even aware. We just think, we're just thinking, and that's what's coming, and we don't realize what's actually going on. So something that really helped me, um, and not, I'll say with complaining, um, because also complaining is a main thing that unfortunately we talk about in society. Um, our society is very negative based and we look at the news or anything. It's all about drama, negativity, instilling fear. So complaining just kind of goes in with those things. But when you start to pay attention to it and you realize, wow, like, why did I even need to complain about that? Like nothing's actually that bad. So it keeps you from seeing the good things in your life and keeps you focused on all the things that are wrong or that you wish you could control, but you can't. Whereas when you break out of that and let go of it, you're able to find more acceptance, more detachment and um, or like non-attachment to what's going on around you. And just being able to control yourself your mind, body, and soul, and how you feel each day, regardless of what's going on around. So um, the tool I want to share with that is actually something I learned from Will Bowen, and he has a book called The Complaint or A Complaint-Free World. And um, I first came across it when I was in Bali about three or four years ago now. And um, I was studying with a yogini there named Sana and she was this amazing European woman and she talked about this book and really inspired me to to get it, to give it a try, to follow it. And at that point, I didn't really think I complained very much, um, but I just knew that I needed to make some positive shifts in my life and mindset shifts in particular. So I thought, you know what, I'll give this a try. And um and I think maybe a part of me did know that I was a little bit in the victim consciousness and a little bit negative about my situation. So how this book works, the general premise of it is that it's really 
really simple, but say you pick a bracelet or an elastic. Um, I've had clients who use a ring or I've had, or you can have like a coin in your pocket or I've had people who even just like pick something physical like if if you're a male and you're watching this or even a woman but you don't wear jewelry um and you want something like physical you could do like a certain physical reminder or tapping your ears or something like that but um let's just use the bracelet because that's what they share in the book and that makes it a lot easier to explain so what you want to do is every single time you complain, you're going to switch the bracelet from one wrist to the other. This is your physical reminder that you just complained and it creates this mind-body connection so that you're actually becoming more aware and able to shift out of that pattern. So say you wake up in the morning and you, com you complain about something to your partner or um, you text someone complaining or you think it to yourself, that's a complaint and that's negative energy that you don't want in your mind, body, or soul. So you're going to switch the bracelet over to the other arm or the other wrist and that that's what you do. So throughout the day, every time you complain, you're going to switch it back and forth. And the whole point of this book and this exercise is to try to go 21 days because studies show that it takes 21 days to create a new habit. So... If you can go 21 days straight, straight. So say you get a full day without switching the bracelet over and then the next day you complain, you switch it over and you have to start again at day one. So it really, it takes some time and it takes some patience, um, but it's an incredible tool to start to create this awareness to realize how much you complain and, and how much it's affecting your mood. And on top of that, if you have a little notebook or you just want to use your phone, what you can do is um, write down what you are complaining about. If you do this, you're going to create so much more um, understanding around yourself, your patterns, and you're most likely going to see just how, um, how simple these things are that you're complaining about. Like, things that do not matter at all and it's not a big deal but you're spending this energy complaining um like oh so and so said this and like how could they do that or oh my gosh i'm so frustrated with this person because they did this wrong or something like a lot of times it's the simplest simplest things so having that awareness, that understanding is going to help you really make some changes so that you can see just how negative you can be at times. And for me, at least, it kind of made me feel a little bit embarrassed. I was like, wow, this is like, I can't believe I'm complaining about that. How silly is that? Especially when you have been through hardships and harder times and it's like, I'm complaining about this line about the grocery store or something or like yeah that that I'm late for something or I don't know what but it's just it makes you realize how simple um your complaints really are and how much they don't really matter so I hope that was helpful you can comment down below let me know if you're gonna give this a try and um I know for me, I was on day one for a long time. I switched it back and forth, back and forth. Um, but eventually I got there and I was so happy. And now I'm just working through it again because I kind of forgot about that for a while. And life happens. It's really easy to fall back into old patterns and, and not catch yourself. So this is an amazing tool that you can start using right now today to help with your negative mindset and your complaining. So again, comment down below. Let me know if you're going to give it a try and uh, I will see you on the next video.